Here are some insider tips to ensure you have a memorable layover experience in Amsterdam. Once to clear customs, you want to drop off your bags at the luggage locker downstairs. Make sure you don't lose that ticket. Next, you want to make your way to the main arrivals hall. Look for the domestic train ticket booth. Hold on to that ticket as well. Once you get your ticket, head downstairs to catch the train to the Amsterdam Central Station. Once you are on board the train, you can find a seat and take in the view into the city. The ride lasts about 22-25 minutes. Once you leave the main train station, walk about a quarter mile, then turn right. You will find a coffee shop in an alley by the name of Pre Dami. They are rated very high on Google reviews. This coffee shop has a very chill vibe. The lounge has plenty of seating room, and you can order your smoke from the various strains that they have on the menu. After 9 a.m., you can order food off of their menu. I ordered the Pre Dami sandwich, which consisted of chicken, bacon, lettuce, and their special house sauce. It was a good choice after a long flight over the Atlantic Ocean. Next, you want to buy a local train ticket and catch the M52 train to the Deep Hitch train station. Once you arrive, walk a few blocks, and you will be at the Albert Kite Market. The Albert Kite Market is a famous street market located in the Deep Hitch neighborhood of Amsterdam, Netherlands. It is one of the largest and most popular markets in the city, offering a wide variety of goods including fresh produce, clothing, flowers, and more. The market has a vibrant atmosphere with vendors selling their wares from colorful stalls lining the street. Visitors can also find delicious street food and traditional Dutch treats to enjoy while exploring the market. Overall, the Albert Kite Market is a must-visit destination for locals and tourists alike looking to experience the bustling energy of Amsterdam street market. The market is cool, but I came up here for one thing, and one thing only. Rudy's Original Stroop Waffle is a delicious Dutch treat that consists of two thin waffle layers filled with a gooey caramel syrup. The waffle layers are crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside, creating a perfect balance of textures. The warm caramel syrup oozes out with each bite, creating a sweet and satisfying flavor experience. Rudy's Stroop Waffle is a beloved classic that pairs perfectly with a cup of coffee or tea, making it a popular snack choice in the Netherlands and beyond. Enjoy the delightful combination of crispy waffles and sweet caramel with Rudy's Original Stroop Waffle. Make sure you get there early, the line gets long very fast. I also met a guy by the name of Mr. Nada. Pastel de nata, also known as Portuguese custard tart, is a delicious and popular pastry originating from Portugal. It consists of a flaky, buttery pastry crust filled with a rich and creamy custard made from eggs, sugar, milk, and flour. The custard is typically flavored with vanilla and cinnamon, giving it a warm and comforting taste. Mr. Nata. I also saw a few shops selling edibles. Make sure you finish them before you return to the airport. I made my way back to Amsterdam Central from the bustling market and arrived at Green Effects Cafe. The cafe is known for its commitment to sustainability and eco-friendly practices, reflected in its decor and menu offerings. Green Effects Cafe is a popular spot among locals and tourists alike, offering a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city. You can sit back, unwind, and enjoy a moment of tranquility in this green oasis in the heart of Amsterdam. I got me a piece of space cake to walk around the city, checked out the red light district and by then it was time to head back to the airport. I hope this layover guide was helpful. Make sure to give me a follow Honcho Hendo on IG and the Runway Boys on IG. Also check out www.runwayboys.com for the best apparel for travel. Flight time will be 9 hours and 40 minutes with a reach a cruising altitude of 35 minutes.